Hello, curious minds. Voyager 1 would take about 70,000 years to reach the nearest star, so how could we possibly cut that down to just 20 years? That's the question driving one of humanity's boldest experiments. Humanity has always looked to the stars, but for the first time in history, we might actually reach one. In 2016 a team of scientists, engineers and visionaries, including Stephen Hawking, Yuri Milner and Mark Zuckerberg, announced an idea that sounded almost impossible. Send a tiny spacecraft to the nearest star system, Alpha Centauri, and get there within a single human lifetime. The project is called Breakthrough Starshot. The vision? To launch thousands of miniature probes, each no bigger than a postage stamp, attached to ultra-thin light sails. Instead of using rockets or fuel, these sails would be pushed by an array of powerful lasers on Earth, beams of light so intense they could accelerate the probes to 20% the speed of light. At that speed, the tiny explorers could cross the 4.37 light-years to Alpha Centauri in about 20 years, each one would carry cameras, sensors and communication systems, all miniaturized onto a single chip, to capture images and data from another star system and beam them back to Earth. The original plan envisioned launching the first star chips around 2050, taking humanity's first step toward another star. But, as of now, the project is on hold indefinitely due to funding and technical challenges. It's an idea that combines the most advanced science of today with the imagination of science fiction. A bold step to turn the dream of interstellar travel into a real engineering mission. Sending a spacecraft to another star sounds simple when you say it fast, but doing it means bending the limits of physics, materials, and engineering. So how does Breakthrough Starshot actually work? It starts with something called photon pressure, the push of light itself. Every photon, every particle of light, carries momentum. It's tiny, but when billions of photons hit a surface, they can nudge it forward. A light sail takes advantage of that force. Think of it as a mirror, an ultra-thin sheet, just a few hundred atoms thick, that reflects incoming light perfectly. When a powerful laser array on Earth fires at the sail, those photons act like invisible wind. Instead of air filling a sail at sea, it's pure light pushing a sail across space. The acceleration is mind-blowing. Within just a few minutes, the sail, carrying a gram-scale chip, called a star chip, could reach 60,000 kilometers per second, or about 37,000 miles per second. That's about 20% the speed of light. At that speed, a probe could pass the moon in a couple of seconds, and reach Alpha Centauri in just over 20 years. But this incredible speed comes with challenges. First, power. The laser array would need to generate up to 100 gigawatts of energy, roughly the output of the entire electrical grid of a large nation, for just a few minutes. Out of that comes another challenge, surviving the acceleration. The probe is tiny, just a few grams, but the laser pushes it to 20% the speed of light in minutes. That's an acceleration of tens of thousands of times Earth's gravity. Every component must survive being slammed forward with immense force, or the whole mission fails in an instant. Material science is critical, the sail must reflect almost all the light without melting. Researchers are exploring graphene composites, dielectric metasurfaces, and nano-engineered materials that can survive the enormous heat and pressure of the laser blast. Next, cosmic hazards. Space isn't empty. Tiny dust particles, even a fraction of a millimeter across, can destroy a probe traveling at relativistic speeds. A collision at 37,000 miles per second or 60,000 kilometers per second would hit with the energy of a high-powered bullet. Designing sails and chips to withstand interstellar debris is a colossal challenge. Precision aiming. The probes must stay aligned with a laser beam thousands of kilometers wide and billions of kilometers away. A tiny misalignment could send them drifting off course by millions of miles, missing Alpha Centauri entirely. Communication across light years. After decades of travel the probe must send data back to Earth using only a tiny onboard power source. Its signal will be weaker than a whisper across a canyon, and yet, our telescopes must detect it. Finally, building the technology. Ultra-thin sails, miniaturized chips with cameras and sensors, and Earth-based laser arrays capable of delivering 100 gigawatts of focused energy. None of this exists at the necessary scale yet. Researchers are pushing the limits of materials, science, photonics, and aerospace engineering. Every gram, every photon, every millimeter counts, 
One tiny error, one overlooked risk, and the mission could fail before it even leaves Earth. And yet, if it works, each starship would be a messenger, carrying our curiosity, our technology, and our story into the stars. Breakthrough Starshot is one of the boldest interstellar missions ever conceived, but it's far from the first. For decades, scientists have dreamed of sending humanity's emissaries beyond the solar system. Project Daedalus, from the 1970s, imagined a massive spacecraft powered by nuclear fusion. It was designed to reach Barnard's star in just over 50 years, but at an enormous scale, thousands of tons of spacecraft impossible to build with today's technology. Project Longshot, a NASA study from the 1980s, explored sending a probe to Alpha Centauri using a combination of nuclear propulsion and onboard fusion power. Again, groundbreaking in concept, but beyond practical reach for our current engineering capabilities. Other emerging concepts include, NASA's Starlight Project, exploring laser-pushed sails for interstellar probes, directed energy propulsion research, which aims to scale lasers and sail materials for ultra-fast travel, concepts for beam-powered interstellar craft that could carry larger payloads, or even humans in the distant future. Each of these ideas shares a common goal, overcoming the insane distances between stars. The key lesson, interstellar travel isn't impossible, it's just extraordinarily difficult. And with every new study, every new material, and every laser experiment, humanity gets a little closer to stepping into the stars. If a beam of light could carry our first explorers to another star, what might humanity send next? The first message? The first seed of life? The first sign that we were here? What do you think? Drop your thoughts below, and if you love exploring the edge of what's possible, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next journey through the cosmos. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep looking up.